Hi everyone, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to explain Cambridge IGCSE 2023 Paper 31 May June Task 3 web page. So you are working as a part of a team of a web developer at Tawara Web and have been asked to create part of a web page for a client. So create CSS to be added to an external style sheet to meet these specification. So you need to create a style sheet. For this, I need to open the application that I am using, Expression Web. And I will create here a CSS and then I need to include this one for h1 h2 h3 and paragraph so format new style i will just mention here h1 and then they ask us to have the font calibri so calibri then if calibri is not allowed not available then helvetica new so Helvetica new just the spelling Calibri comma Helvetica new and then after Helvetica should be like this and then if it is not available then it should select uh, any sans serif font so then if not then sans serif font and it should be applied for h1 h2 h3 and h4 just say apply and okay and then mention here h1 h2 comma h3 comma p paragraph and then place a copy of this CSS into your scroll, in your style sheet in your what we call evidence document. <clears throat> so we have our evidence document here. So that's our style sheet. And then after they ask us to do create all the head section of our web page to meet these specification. Let me just save this style sheet with the name that uh, MJ May June 2331 and I'll just save it and then I will create a new web page and include in the head section as they have mentioned so what they want us to include in the head section we just need to work on it now so as they mentioned here what we need to have title for the web page is weather data that is going to be the title so it's our title now and then after they ask us to do what uh, set the character according to this so we just simply copy this one and in the header section just under the title I will write here that meta space character set character set or core set and then is equal to the text as they mention and that's it so meta and then the character what they mention here and then after we, we we need to have the name of the author Tawara web followed by a space then your name so we will just write here as meta then space and then author okay or the name uh, name equal to and then the author mm, so we just need to write here 
and the author Tawara web and then after a space content equal to Tawara web and then we will just space and put our candidate name for example I will write my name and the meta tag is close then after what we need to do is web page description to weather data for Tawara region so we need to have here another meta tag space we will write here name equal to oh, we just need to write here name equal to yeah it was name equal to and then oh i'm tapping in oh in the wrong place okay so meta name space and then we will type here description and description is going to be content content equal to into the speech mark and we will copy this one and then after the tag is closed next step is that we need to have set the viewport for the width of the device being used with an initial scaling of 2 so we simply say here meta and then space name is equal to view port and then after we just simply say here content then after content we just mention here width equal to device then width the device width and it should be comma initial initial stage or initial scale they mention <coughs> initial scale equal to 2.0 or 2 that's it and then after the last point that we have set two appropriate meta tag keywords for use by search engine for this web page so keywords that we need to use is meta space name equal to and then i will just say keywords keywords and the keywords are going to be equal to content and then content is should be tawara tawara and then comma other keyword is weather tamara weather and the t tag is closed and then set this one to a default black blank uh, web page so we just simply see here base target and then target is equal to underscore blank that's it and then after we just close the the tags and that's all from the web page part i guess yeah so we need to copy the source and to place into the evidence document so just copy this all and go to the evidence document and include it as a source as they asked for so that's it and then just yeah that's all and print the evidence document so we need to print that evidence document so that's what we have about, about the paper 3.1 web page part so hope you have learned how to deal with the meta tags thank you very much for watching
and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates.